Ginger Halton, one of my very favorite nutritionists. What are you doing? I am cooking in my kitchen at home today. Lots of people are doing that. Lots of people are doing that. Let's talk first of all about um, what we can do about nutrition, because I'm hearing from my friend group, and this is no joke, everybody's eating stuff that they wish they weren't eating. For me, it's the Walker's shortbread cookies. Like if I run out of these, there's going to be trouble. Why are we craving that sort of stuff now? And what can we replace it with so that we're doing a, a little bit better by our bodies? Yeah, I think that there's, a, of course, a lot of stress going on. Our lives have been turned upside down and everything's a little different. We're spending more time at home and it's very easy to grab a snack here and there all the time. And don't get me wrong, having a treat is totally warranted and all foods can fit. But I have some tips for you today on how to make your life healthier and easier when cooking at home. All right, let's do it. Sure. Yeah, I have a variety of foods to show you and I have a recipe too, because the bottom line here is we need to be planning, prepping and shopping and cooking a little differently. Now we're trying to go to the store less and you don't want to be in the kitchen cooking all day because we're trying to work and take care of families and do other things. You make such a good point because I used to just run to the store basically every day, whatever it was we wanted for dinner that night. And now, of course, I'm in and out like a ninja, so I need to make a list and plan a little better. What are your tips for that? Yeah, you're completely right. We need to be able to stock up for a week or two, but also not getting so much food so that it's not available to other people. So that requires making a list, thinking about what you're going to make for the week, but also thinking in terms of batch cooking so that you can make big portions and refrigerate or freeze things for later. Um, you need to think about what kind of staples are healthy that you can keep on hand. And I have some examples of that, if that would be helpful. Yeah, that'd be great. I'm mean, looking at oatmeal and other things that you have there. Take me through those. Yeah, so I broke it down into categories. These pantry essentials like rice and pasta, um, marinara sauce, all sorts of canned foods like canned beans, I have those here, and oats. These things last for a long time. And so these are great pantry essentials, lentils, the list goes on and on. But you know, it's also one like things like, um, I, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's the, it's the little lag time talking to you, but I was making a recipe last night. It was a North African recipe with meatballs and a harissa sauce, and it called for oatmeal in the meatballs. Who knew? So, I mean, it's, it's amazing how many things those staples go into. They're extremely versatile. I was making veggie burgers two days ago, and I put some oats in there to bind it. Same idea. It was great. Good, good choices. So let's talk about a healthy recipe. You've got that there and just talk to me about how we put that together. And as you go through, maybe point out some of the things that you've used from your staples so we can think about getting them into our pantries. Absolutely. I have a variety here of refrigerated, frozen, and pantry staple foods that last for a long time that you can use. So I don't wanna make breakfast fresh every single day. I wanna make breakfast once, grab it and go, even from the freezer. So I'm doing a blueberry oatmeal bake. Have you done that before? I have not, but I'm telling you, I'm doing it tonight and getting it ready for tomorrow morning. <laughs> I've been all over this recipe since I first saw it. Yep, it's up on the blog. It's called blueberry coconut oat bake. It is simple. It's like two seconds to make, 30 minutes, you gotta preheat the oven, you bake it, hands off. So I have my bowl right here and I just have this little glass baking tin that I put a little coconut oil in. I've got three cups of oats and again, oats are so versatile and very, very healthy. So done. I'm just gonna use an egg. Eggs last for a long time in the refrigerator so eggs are very versatile too. That's going in. I used a can of coconut milk. You could use any kind of milk you like, but this gives it an amazing flavor. It's a very versatile pantry uh, staple as well. I'm using like a little vanilla. And let's do some cinnamon. Do you like cinnamon? I do very much. And you've taught me that's good for us. 
It's a wonderful anti-inflammatory spice. The final thing we need is some sort of berry. So I'm doing blueberries. These are frozen. They last for so long. They can be more affordable that way. And they're a great freezer staple. So I'm just gonna mix it up. This would be really easy for kids. Um, it's great for families. It's great for single people. I'm just mixing it up right now. So everything's incorporated and that's literally it. I'm gonna pour it, bake it, and then I'm gonna freeze some into, cut into chunks and I'm gonna use it all week for breakfast and snacks. So once it comes out of the oven, I imagine the first um, tip is try not to eat the whole thing at once. The easiest thing to do is just cut it into squares and then just divide it. So you can just take a portion whenever you need it. And when we freeze it, do you put those individually in saran or how do we freeze it? I do. So I cut it into core, like squares and then I just freeze it individually. So I literally just take a piece out microwave it for a couple minutes, maybe even put some yogurt on it and you're good to go. All right, so one more question. Um, when I want a cookie, I don't work for these people, but I'm telling you, they make good cookies. And, and I think, no, I wanna eat something else instead. What's a good go-to snack that would fulfill that same kind of, I don't know, craving? Sure, you're looking for something comforting, a little snack, something delicious. A lot of times when we're looking for cookies, and cookies are okay, but you wanna mix it up, um, often you just want a sweet treat. So like a delicious apple or a beautiful orange or some strawberries would actually do the trick. These are very nutritious and filling too. Thank you, thanks for doing this. I'm so sorry that I can't taste what you're cooking like we normally do, but we'll do that one day again. I can't wait to see you in person. In the meantime, be safe and enjoy cooking. I will miss you. Bye. Thank you so much. We've got a link to Ginger's recipe on our website, so please enjoy. More New Day is next.